वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फोर पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज़ गिवन दैट फाइव मेटल स्ट्रिप ईच फोर्टी मिलीमीटर वाइड आर बाउंडेड टुगेदर टू फॉर्म कंपोजिट बीम एज शोन सो दिस इज द कंपोजिट बीम दैट इज मेड ऑफ मेटल फाइव मेटल स्ट्रिप्स द मॉडल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज टू हंड्रेड टेन गेगा पासकल फॉर स्टील वन जीरो फाइव गेगा पासकल फॉर ब्रॉस एंड सेवेंटी गेगा पासकल फॉर एलुमिनियम Knowing that beam is bent about horizontal axis by a couple of eighteen hundred newton into meter, determine the maximum stress in each of the three metals, and in part B the radius of curvature of the beam. So you can see that this is the composite beam, and that is made up of brass, steel, aluminium, steel, and brass, and each having width forty millimeter, and height of each strip is given below. Clear? So I. From the question, I have written the given data. You can see them clear. All the data are mentioned, so you have to find the maximum stress in aluminium, brass, and steel, and radius of curvature. So let's start with the solution. So you can see that this uh, beam is made up of several material. So in order to find its moment of inertia, we will convert this into um uh, uniform uh, transform section clear so first of all you can see that this is uh, symmetrical so its axis will be neutral axis will be like this so for uh, converting into transform section for transform section Um, transform section clear. We will choose. We will choose aluminium as reference material. And for reference material, this n is equal to one. For aluminium. Now for steel, we know that n is equal to E of steel divided by E of aluminium. There, so E of steel is two ten divided by E of steel is uh, E of aluminium is. Seventy giga pascal. So from here you will get n is equal to three for steel because steel will be converted if we take aluminium instead of steel. So we will uh, take three time width of the aluminium. If in case if we uh, replace steel with aluminium. Now for brass. So for brass. We have n is equal to E B over E A. So E B is one zero five in E A is seventy. So it will one point five for brass. Now what does this n is equal to one five means? So if we replace brass with aluminium, so only the width of the uh, aluminium portion replacing the brass will be. One point five that times then width of the aluminium, clear, and rest height will be the same. Now uh, we will find the moment of inertia I, and we know that these strips are made up of strip one. This is two, this is three, this is four, and this is five. So we will convert. The moment of inertia for each. So we will start from I one. So I one is equal to n one over twelve b one h one cube plus n one a one into d one square. Now one is brass. So for brass n is equal to one point five. So I will put one point five divided by twelve. 
multiply by b1 is this one which is 40 millimeters so 40 into height is 10 10 cube plus n1 is again 1.5 into area is 40 multiplied by 10 now you can see 1.5 multiplied by 40 so if brass is replaced by aluminium so it aluminium will cover 1.5 times the width of existing clear into this area multiply by d1 now d1 is distance from neutral axis to the mid of the brass section so this is d1 and this d1 you can see this is 5 this is 10 and this is 10 half so 25 so i will write 25 square so again when you solve this so i1 will comes out to be 380 into 10 is to power 3 millimeter power 4 now i2 so i2 is again that is equal to for this portion so it is n2 over 12 b2 h2 cube plus n2 a2 d2 square so n2 is for steel this is for steel so n2 for steel is 3 divided by 12 bread is same for all which is 40 into height of this is 10 so 10 cube plus n2 which is 3 and a2 is again 40 by 40 by 10 this area is a2 clear so 40 multiply by 10 into d2 square now d2 is what d2 is this distance from the mid of the two till neutral axis this is d2 and this will become equal to 5 plus this portion 10 15 so 15 square so when you solve this you will get i2 will be equal to 280 into 10 is to power 3 millimeter power 4 now for i3 we know that i3 will be equal to n3 over 12 into b3 h3 cube plus n3 into a3 d3 square so n3 n3 what is 3 3 is for aluminium and for aluminium we have taken n is 1 so it will be 1 over 12 breadth is same which is 40 and height of aluminium is now 20 so 20 cube plus n3 is 1 area will be 40 into 10 multiply by d d3 now d3 is center of 3 is passing through the centroidal axis so d3 is equal to 0 so we will multiply this with 0 so this whole term will become equal to 0 so we will only left this term so i3 comes out to be 26.67 into 10 is to power 3 millimeter power 4 now from this figure you can see i1 and i5 is same and i2 and i4 are same so i1 is equal to i5 and i2 is equal to i4 so i1 is this one 380 into 10 to the power 3 millimeter power 4 and i2 is 3 i2 is equal to i4 is 280 into 10 to the power 3 millimeter power 4 and i3 is this one so total moment of inertia will be equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 plus i4 plus i5 if you sum all this you will get total moment of inertia will be equal to 1.3467 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter power 4 
if you add all of them and then you have to convert millimeter into meter so you will get this answer now we will move toward part a and that part a is about maximum stress and we know that it is equal to minus n into m y divided by i where moment is given in given data it is equal to 1800 newton into meter so for aluminum for aluminum we know that n is equal to 1 and what about y so we'll check that so you can see this is the neutral axis from neutral axis to this portion this is y of aluminum so this is minus 10 millimeter so minus 10 millimeter is meter will be equal to minus 0 0.010 meter so you can put it in this formula so sigma aluminum will be equal to 1 minus 1 into n is m is 1800 into y is minus 0 0.01 divided by i is 1.3467 into 10 to the power minus 6 so from here you will get this sigma a comes out to be 13.37 into 10 to the power 6 so 13.37 mega pascal i will write the remaining over here for part b for brass so we know that for brass n is equal to 1.75 1.5 sorry 1.5 and y for brass we will check that y for brass will be from this till and till this this is y for brass and that is this half is 10 10 10 which is 30 minus uh, minus 30 so minus 30 will be in meter it will be equal to 0 0.0 three zero meter so sigma brass will be equal to minus 1.5 into 1800 multiply by 0 0.030 divide by 1.3467 into 10 to the power minus 6 and again sigma brass comes out to be maximum stress in brass comes out to be 60.1 into 10 to the power 6 so it is 60.1 mega pascal i will write for steel part c for steel so for steel we know that n is equal to 3 and y for steel if i scroll it down so for steel this is from neutral axis to the outermost so this is y for steel and it is 10 is this one and 10 is this one so it is minus 20 so minus 20 in term of meter is 0 0.020 meter so sigma steel comes out to be minus 3 multiplied by 1800 into minus 0 0.020 divided by 1.3467 into 10 to the power minus 6 and this maximum stress in steel strips comes out to be 80.1 into 10 to power 6 pascal so 80.1 mega pascal so this was about our part a now we will move toward part b and in part b it is given to find the uh, radius of curvature radius of curvature which is equal to rho and that is for composite beam okay, clear so what we will do is that we know that uh, radius of curvature is equal to e into i divided by m so again for composite beam the equivalent of composite beam that is made of aluminium so its modulus of elasticity will be ea 
and that will be same uh, radius of curvature as we uh, will get for ea because i is calculated based on the uniform material having single material that is made up of aluminium so we are using ea so we'll put the value m ea is equal to 70 into 10 is to power 9 because 70 gigapascal i is 1.3467 into 10 is to power minus 6 i will show you you can see here e is i is this this one so divide by moment is again 1800 so if you solve this you will get the uh, radius of curvatures comes out to be 52.4 meter 52.4 meter you can write it 52.4 so this is the required answer again uh, thank you for you thank you for watching and kindly share it with your friends so that they may learn and it will also help me in growing my channel